This will be a tutorial on how to solve the V-Cube 7x7. Now, normally tutorials start with the uh, V-Cube messed up, so that's what I'm going to start with. This seems to be messed up pretty well. Now, to start, you're going to need to have a top and... Or, I guess your top can be your top and your face. So, you're going to need to find a side that you like. Like, whatever color you want. And I like the black side because, well, that's just how I learned it. So, I'm going to start with the black. Now, first, to get to finish the black side, you're going to need to find these 5x5 five five bars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You're going to need to fill 5 of them in to fill in the whole black side. The edges won't matter because you're going to solve all of that later in the tutorial. Now, you're going to need to get 5x5 five five bar. Right here, you already have two pieces finished. So, I guess you can start with that. Now, as you can see there's a corner piece right there. And any corner piece will fit in any other corner. So, you can just turn it so it's facing the right way. Then, you just move it to make a 3x3 three three bar. Now, you're only halfway done because you need 5x5. Five five. Now, as you can see, this piece, when you turn it, will go right there. See if you can see that right there, since that piece will go into any other place on any other side. So you can just turn it there, and you'll have a 4x4 four four bar. Now to finish the rest of it, there's a piece right there. How about that? You just turn it, and you'll have a complete 5x5 five five bar. Now, to put it up here, when you're when you're not even done with one side, you can just do that. Stand simple, but it gets a little harder when you're on the other edges. So you can see there are already two pieces right there, one piece right there. So you can just turn that, make a three by three bar. Another piece right there. It's hard to turn a little. The cube is new. Now you have a four by four bar. Now all you need is a corner. No corner there. No corner there, no corner there. So they must be down here, right there. Now, the corner, when you move it, will go right there. So you're going to need to move this so that nothing is there and you'll, your bar will be complete. Now, when you turn it up there, you could mess something up here, but since there's nothing previously, you can just turn it up there and it'll be completely fine. Now, now you have two complete 5x5 five five bars which is really good because you're moving on. Now as you can see there's a 2x2 two two bar right there so you can start that with the middle. Move the middle down here and move there. You have a 4x4 four four bar. You notice that. And, uh, you, and there's a piece right here that will fit right there. What a coincidence. Now you have three complete 5x5 five five bars. Now, there's already a 4x4 four four bar right there, so you're going to want to complete it. Move it down, move this to the side, and you're going to need this piece. So, you're going to move this over there to create a 5x5 five five bar. And you're going to move that back up, because now you have three complete 5x5 five five bars. Or, three, com yeah, just three. It's one doesn't really count. You already have a 2x2 two two bar right there, so you can continue with that. Piece right there. Piece right there. Let's see, if there a middle top of corner, which we'll call it piece there? No? No? And no. So, apparently it's on the bottom. Now, when you move this up, you're going to mess up this bar. That won't matter right now, because when you move it up, you're going to move it to the side, so it's out of the way, and move this back down. So, you, your bars aren't messed up, and you have a complete bar right here. Now, when you move this up, you're going to mess this up. So, it won't really matter, because you're going to fix it later anyways. So, now you have four complete 5x5 five five bars. Now, to finish the last one. Dun, dun, dun. You're going to need to move this down, since there's a piece you need right there. And then, since you already have a 1x1 one one bar right there, you're going to move it. So that you have a 3x3 three three bar right here. Now you need this piece, which you can rotate so that it'll fit right there. And you need a piece right there, which is not there, and is there. So you can just move it, and there you go. You have a complete 5x5 five five bar. 
And now you have finished your one side that you picked. Now, once you finish one side, you're going to need to finish the opposite. Because if you don't, it'll mess everything up and it's just way more complicated. So you're going to want to start with the opposite side, which for me is yellow. Now, you can see I already have a 2x2 two two bar complete right there. So that's what I'm going to start with. I see two pieces right here that I need. Oh, yeah, two pieces. So you move it and move it. So there, I have a 4x4 four four bar already. And I don't see any piece now. Oh, here we go. As you can see, this piece is a piece I need, but it's on the same face as my 4x4 four four bar. Now to fix this, you turn this to the side and you move it out. Now you won't mess up anything else. So you move this back and you just make a 5x5 five five bar. So, but as you can see when you pull, put this up, it will mess up your black side. Now to counteract this, you're going to either move this piece down replace it with the finished 5x5 five five bar and move it up so that it won't mess it up or you can do this really long algorithm type thing move it up go to the black side up up and then this is your left face left up up left and stuff and there your black side isn't messed up and you have your 5x5 five five bar up there now to finish the rest of it you're going to need that piece, which will go right there. You're going to need the middle piece, which you can do afterwards. And you're going to need that last top piece, which is right there. Rotate it, so it's in the right place, and put it there. Now you have a 4x4 four four bar, and the middle piece is always the trickiest. There. Rotate it. Put it back up. And there. Wasn't really the trickiest. I just thought it was going to be. Now you need the rest of it. Oh, there's already a 3x3 bar right here, so I don't need to worry about that. So you're going to need that piece and that piece. And there's already a piece right here. See? Rotate it, and there you have a 4x4 four four bar. All you need is the last piece, which is right there. 5x5 five five bar. Now, you can either move it up or, and do the algorithm, or you can just bring this down and replace it with a 5x5 five five bar. And there, you have three complete 5x5 five five bars with a finished side. Now, let's worry about this corner since it's usually the easiest. 2x2 two two. and corner. It's perfect that's what I need and that what you would call it piece right there now as you can see I need a corner so what I can do is go back to this corner rotate so it's in the right place and take it there as you can see there's a complete 5x5 five five bar right here three complete 5x5 five five bars right there and a finished side now this time I'm going to do the algorithm just for an example. I'm going to move it up, do the algorithm, right, up, up, right, up, up, right, inverse. And there. Your black side is still the same, complete, and you have four 5x5 five five bars right there. Now to finish the last piece. Ah, there's a piece you need. And it's right there. Top piece. Rotate it. And there you have a three a three bar right there. And I'm gonna need this piece. Rotate it. It's in the right place. Now you have a four bar. Four piece bar. Now this is the last piece. It's the trickiest. Here's what you need to do. Rocket science, huh? Then Replace that random piece with a 5x5 five five bar, and you have two complete sides. Now, go on to lesson two, because, you know, my ten minutes is almost up, so...